But University of Pennsylvania senior and transgender swimmer Leah Thomas continues to make history. Thomas, a favorite going into the NCAAs with the fastest time in the nation, finishing a disappointing fifth place in a tie in the 200-yard freestyle at the NCAA Swimming Championships in Georgia. Seconds behind Stanford swimmer Taylor Rock, who set a pool record. Thomas coming off a win in the 500-yard freestyle, saying, amidst the controversy, she's focusing on swimming. After spending three years on the men's team, Thomas surpassed the NCAA requirement to compete on the women's squad as a senior completing 34 months of hormone replacement therapy, far beyond the 12-month NCAA requirement to compete on the women's team. Her presence, sparking controversy. From tennis legend Martina Navratilova, saying in a recent interview, she's going by the rules, so the rules need to change, and swimming Olympians. Because simply to put both trans men and trans women into the women's category is insulting. Nancy Hogshead Maycar, former Olympic champion and current CEO of the nonprofit Champion Women, says it's not about gender, but science. So the advantages that male puberty gives somebody is far more than a biological woman could ever achieve. Olympian and University of Texas freshman Erica Sullivan showing her support for Thomas in an op-ed saying she deserves, like anyone else in this sport, to be celebrated for her hard-won success, not labeled a cheater simply because of her identity. Morgan Chesky, NBC News. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.